Hi guys, how are you? My name is Numan Ahmed and right now you are watching my textile YouTube channel. So before going ahead, please subscribe my channel. Okay, we have started some courses in English English language, although I've uh, I've made this uh, e, um, this uh, textile YouTube channel almost uh, uh, one and a half year back, but uh, it was in Urdu language. Right now I'm making videos in English language. Okay, today's topic is very good. It's about the difference between Pima cotton and Egyptian cotton. Pima means the, the cotton which is grown in USA, US Pima cotton. And the uh, Egyptian cotton with the name, it goes uh, Egypt, uh, the, the cotton grows in Egypt. So it's the difference between Egyptian and the Pima cotton. But before uh, starting this topic, have you purchased my textile ebooks, which I've made fabric and bed linen costing and bathrobes and towel costing believe me you uh, once you will purchase it you will love the, love these books you can easily easily calculate gsm mouse per square yard the per pick cost the weaving cost the dyeing bleaching everything you can e easily calculate it has a written tutorial it has a video tutorial and not only this uh, in the towel costing ebook you can easily uh, cost out the uh, everything about pile the web the ground the towel cost the embroidery cost so guys uh, th these are very useful ebooks and the price is very simple for Pakistani citizens uh, in living in Pakistan they can easily purchase it uh, at a price of 500 rupees uh, per ebook and uh, the people living outside Pakistan can purchase it uh, at a simple cost of ten dollars per ebook okay now let, let's start what what is the difference between Egyptian cotton and the US Pima cotton actually there's no difference honestly both uh, both sorry uh, <laughs> i was interrupted by this uh, phone actually both the both the cottons are grown on land okay the only thing is the length of the fiber this is called the length of the fiber you must be watching the animations length of the fiber that's all nothing else the higher the 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 higher the length of the fiber will decide whether it's uh, uh, it's a good cotton or it's a bad cotton. That's all, nothing else. Usually in my country, in Pakistan, the cotton grow the the cotton which is grown, it has a fiber length of around around one inch or less than one inch, 0.8 inch. That's all, or even sometimes 0.6 inch. But the cotton which is grown in Egypt, they have a very good uh, land, the fertility, uh, soil, sunlight, and everything, and good fertilizer. So their average length is around the fiber length is around 1.3 to 1.5 inches and the cotton grows in uh, america in usa the length is around 1.8 to 2 inches so the length of the fiber uh, because of the length of the fiber it's called egyptian cotton and it's called us pima cotton okay now let me tell you why the length of the fiber is very important see how how we make a yarn we make a yarn by wrapping very simple process we make a yarn by wrapping around or spinning you, you 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 must have heard the word spinning spin means spin you need to spin something so actually we spin the fibers we spin the fibers to make a yarn usually by wrapping through a core that's simple you must be watching the animation it's very simple as abc so the the if the length is short they they are if the length is short chances are that it won't wrap around uh, in a good sense so what happened it will it will lose some hair outside the fiber it's called hairiness you must have seen the hairiness or something uh, like this um, you must be watching the animations on the fabric uh, on this uh, in sunlight now if it wrap around completely what happened it will have a smooth fabric a smooth yarn so the the lengthier the higher the length of the fiber will make the uh, the yarn or the fabric very smooth that's the basic thing so the uh, i was just uh, thinking of uh, making this video it's a very good video and uh, i've already made a video regarding combed cotton and cotton cotton i'm not sure if it's in english language or uh, urdu language but you can watch okay guys this is my youtube channel what you need to do is uh, you need to subscribe it like it and make my video virals uh, i'm trying to make uh, videos in english language usually i make in urdu language that's why my english is not as good as it uh, should be but uh, I'm trying my heart, inshallah, with, uh, in few days, uh, we'll make continuously uh, courses in English language. So guys, what you need to do, subscribe it. One, make my video viral. Third thing, 